Hi, this is Alex Georgescu, and I'll talk a little bit about the research opportunities we have here at IU Bloomington, uh, you know, in the department, but also in my group, collaborators group, and, um, you know, just interesting related work. So, you know, here it's like a small subset of uh, research, but we do have many more types of research flavors. And I will start with my group, as that's probably why you clicked on this video or it was recommended to you. So my group focuses on the computational study of materials. So my primary appointment is in physical chemistry. So my group is open to people with a variety of backgrounds, whether chemistry, physics, material science, chemical engineering, and, and so on. And it's at the intersection of tools usually used in chemistry, like crystal and coordination chemistry, tools usually used in material science for analysis of materials or in discovery, things like crystallography and you know machine learning for materials discovery and um, tools that you know originate in physics things like density functional theory uh, model Hamiltonians phase transitions you know just quantum mechanics in materials uh, we have top computational resources including a top 300 supercomputer which is one of our three supercomputers um, and we work on superconductors, 2D materials for microelectronics, quantum computing, catalysis materials, and, and so on. A uh, big direction in my research is that of clarifying the interplay of you know, orbitals and crystal structure, particularly unique forms of um, orbital symmetry. So here I'm showing some um, materials that have trimers. I'm also showing here some lone pairs in a solid, which are quite well known in molecules, but not in solids. And also things like materials discovery using machine learning. And I have collaborators around the US and the world, uh, including at IU and um, Duke, at Johns Hopkins, at UCSB in Geneva in Vienna. So this is a paper with collaborators uh, from Geneva and Nature Materials. Uh, Sarah Skrabalak's group works on a variety of things, including um, you know, photocatalysis materials. So here we actually co-advise um, students. And, you know, this is actually, um, you know, often quite good and it's an option. And, you know, here the idea is to optimize things like band gaps and um, stability of the materials. Uh, the, she also works on fuel cell um, catalysis materials, things like, you know, high entropy alloys and um, nanoparticles of them. Uh, Xing Chenye works on things like controlling the shape of crystal structures. So here have similar or identical stoichiometries in very different shapes and different packing, as well as controlling the nucleation and growth of, of materials to affect their properties. And this leads to applications like catalysis and fuel cells and, and clean fuel. Uh, Professor Vasquez is... Um, also an assistant professor who started around the same time as me, and he works on a variety of things, including molecules for photophysics. So, you know, molecules that um, their quantum excitations lead to particular colors that can then be used to um, identify certain cells or certain cell behavior, um, as well as electrochemistry of, of batteries. Uh, Yan Yu works on a variety of things, including virus membrane interactions, um, you know, and dynamics in immune cell functions. She works on diagnostic tools, basically, so sensing metabolitis functions and diseases, and nanoparticles for cancer immunotherapy. Uh, Professor Gert works on a variety of things, including basically how do different animals and bacteria and usually things on a microscopic scale, um, how do they sense predators? How do they sense uh, food? And then how do they um, pick the path that they walk on? So again, you know, well, we are a chemistry department. We are quite multidisciplinary. So, you know, as a result, we don't require chemistry GREs. And, you know, this is also just so we don't add additional hurdles or, or costs on our applicants. Uh, we're open to chemistry, physics, chemical engineering, material science, chemical engineering, you know, biology. If you have the skills to work in a group, um, that, that's what really matters. Uh, the application deadline for 
our program is December 1st for international students and December 15th for US students. And this is simply because the paperwork takes a little bit longer for international students. We are reviewing things the same way at the same time. Um, you know, if you care about things like US news rankings, we're usually in the top 30-ish, um, top 10 in analytical chemistry. I think this year that's seventh, um, you know, uh, and basically, we have a, a pretty large department with a wide variety of uh, research topics. So this is also one of the most beautiful campuses in the world. It's the prettiest campus I've been to, at least. Uh, you know, this is just walking around campus, um, lots of trees and lots of buildings out of built out of limestone. There are multiple small forests on campus. So this is at the entrance. Um, and also Lear. Um, this is just a stag that ran off when um, he saw me. Anyway, we also have amazing food from around the world. So this is at a Korean restaurant uh, where I took the students who did the rotation in my group this year. We also have incredible gym facilities. Um, you know, this is just our pool and, and diving pool. And it's just, um, yeah, it, it's a lot. <laughs> We have a really amazing gym facilities. Um, it's also a great cultural hub. So, you know, we have things like musicals and just opera, just all sorts of things. It's, it's really been great. So basically, because we have one of the top music schools in the world, many people actually produced a variety of musicals and shows. So as a result, they come through our uh, you know, relatively small town. It's also an industrial hub, uh, particularly in pharmaceuticals and, and um, bioengineering and, and things like this, and, you know, devices for hospitals. Um, and it is located, we're located a little bit south of Indianapolis or three, four hours away from um, Chicago. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. And uh, the link for the application is below. And, you know, if you're interested in applying, please do or let me know or um, share this with people, you know, might be interested. Thank you.